Welcome back to the second channel guys. Today we're doing, a, I believe, a really cool video. We're gonna be putting out a deer carcass in front of a trail camera in the middle of the woods and seeing what eats it. Hey baby saying, KG, where'd you get the deer carcass? Did you go hit it on the way to school this morning? Actually, no. I actually killed it. In this video right here on the main channel, my main hunting channel. For you guys who watched the video, I said I was taking it to a slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouses was closed. I had to skin it myself. Right here's actually the carcass. I took pretty much all the meat, except for, you know, the ribs and just the little pieces I couldn't get to. And then I took all those pieces, put it right over there into that pit. I put the carcass right here. And then I went over there and set a trail camera. I don't know if you can see that. It's over there on that tree. Y'all see it? It's a little black trail camera. Something light, nothing heavy. And in this video, we're gonna be letting some time pass and seeing what eats the deer carcass. Now you may be a little confused because uh, didn't I say I put the carcass there and so for, yeah, I did. It's actually been here for about a week. Which, to me, that's kind of crazy that there's that much meat left on it. Usually, vultures go ahead and take it over within a day. But that's actually a good thing, because it's going to give other animals an option to eat it. And I don't know about you guys, but I just found some dookie. Check this out. Look at that dookie. You see that dookie? That is very dark dookie. It has fur where it's been eating some kind of meat, and then it has some kind of beans in it. Let's check those out. What kind of bean is that? Do you know what bean that is? Mm -mm. Me neither. But I do want to say, that's not just a small dookie. I am excited to see what's on the camera. For you guys who know a lot about dookie tell me what kind of dookie you think that is because there's a part of me thinking this might be a bear but yeah we're gonna drag that carcass back over here in front of the camera then i have a massive black bag that my mom put out of the freezer and asked me what is it i said i don't really know so we're gonna open it up and uh we're gonna see what was in my freezer it's not food first thing though we do gotta grab that carcass and get it back in front of the camera because if it's over there it ain't gonna do us no good drag it right back over here and put it where it belongs on my trail camera as you can see i didn't really get the rib meat off of it i don't have a grinder right now so i didn't have anything to do all right, in front of the camera should be right here. Oh, there went my hatchet. I just wonder what's in the bag. Honestly, I am too. I have no idea what's in the bag. I'm going to check this camera to make sure it's been taking pictures. I'm pretty excited to see what that dookie was, dude. All right, we got some good news or we got some bad news? It ain't good. It didn't get any pictures at all. I looked up black bear dookie, and honestly, I kind of think that's what it was because it doesn't have berries in it, but it ain't berry season, okay? It's pretty much November. I think we had a bear out there. So that's what that looks like. Wasn't a tra KG trail camera. No, it really wasn't. And I went and got one because that's what we're going to put up next. I don't know. It's okay. We've still not opened the bag, though. So let's go open the bag, put out the new bait, put on the trail camera. And there's still quite a bit of meat on the carcass. So there's, there's a good chance whatever it is might come back. I don't know about it, man. I don't know. I, I, man, that's sad. Is that a skull to a crow? Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. It's a beak still there. Yeah, it's a crow. Well, that's kind of cool, I guess. Looks like one of those Aztec death whistles in a way. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to reset it with this, though. This is a KG trail camera. It's a lot more reliable. It looks like there's a good trail coming right here through the fence that something's been using it recently. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I'm going to set it up on this tree. It's a little bit closer, too. Maybe that'll help. That trail camera's always done good for me in the past, but, I mean, if it don't work when it needs to the most, it doesn't really matter. There we go. That's about right, ain't it? Oh yeah. We'll set it to start counting as soon as we unbox this thing. Kendall's got the bag. <laughs> Smells real nice. Nice pungent smell. You got a couple boxes I, I can take. What is this? This is just garbage. Oh, and then we got this. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that is. I'm sure I'm the one that put it in the back. Oh. I think it's a deer. It is. It's a deer. It's a deer fur. Definitely uh, out of date. Yeah, too late to be used for anything. What else we got? In the bag of mystery. A Walmart bag. What is all this? What is this? That's the question. Wet. <laughs> this one's got fat on it still. What is this? What is that? I don't know. Might be a rat. I think it's a raccoon. Now we got a deer, a deer pelt, raccoon pelt, and a deer carcass. And, and a, crow. a crow. Yeah, and a crow. That's a lot of good, that's a lot of stuff. If something don't eat that, I'll be really surprised. I'll be really surprised. If something don't come back to the big carcass, I'll definitely be really surprised. You know what we're going to catch on camera? What? Guaranteed. A what? buzzard. That thing's been here a week. Usually the buzzards take it over way faster than a week. But how do we know they ain't been trying? Just a trail camera didn't work. Because it's the meat's still there. True. I'll go ahead and turn this. I think I'll turn it to video. And on this camera, we won't have to run all the way back to the house to check it because it actually has a screen built in. I can come in here, 
go to replay, see what the last pictures was. This is actually the same one we used down by the river whenever we checked out the uh, meatball video. Yeah, and it should be ready to go. Now, if some gets past the KG trail camera, I'm gonna be a little upset. We're gonna clean up our garbage that wasn't fur, and then it's simply a waiting game. We're gonna wait about, honestly, until all that's gone. That way we'll give the most chance of catching some critters on camera. We're back. It's been a long time. Like all the leaves have fell. I don't, I don't even remember whenever we put this camera out, but it's been a long time. Grab the camera, then we'll take it back home and check it. It was back here, a bunch of crows and a deer carcass, wasn't it? Yeah, and then a bunch of rabbits too. And I think maybe some squirrel heads. That says we have 178 pictures, so that's pretty good. I just want to throw this out here right now before we even go check. I'm pretty sure your dog's going to be on here. 100%. She ain't got nothing else to do. Why wouldn't she come out here? I don't know. What is this? All right, we're inside now. This is from the KG trail camera. What are your predictions? Sheba. Yeah, me too. You think we got any coyotes? Nope. Really? Mm -mm. None? Nope. All right, well, here's a long time ago. There's a dog. That's, that's a different location, so that's not this location. This is where it begins, okay? Right here. You can see there's meat, there's a box or a bag. And then there's actual deer carcass. That's where we'll go. I don't know what he's doing here. We stayed here a long time playing around, I guess. Hawk. It's the first thing we have is a big hawk. Look at that, just a big, a hawk just eating, eating meat. That's it, there's two of them, ain't they? Um, I don't think so. No, it's just one. Then there is Sheba. That is confirmed Sheba. Sheba has been confirmed. That is the first day. Then there's me the other day, making sure that it works. You're somebody's dog. I don't know whose dog, somebody's dog. Somebody's dog. Oh, and then there's a uh, coyote, coyote. If there's a coyote. I knew there had to be some, and then he came back, and then he came back again. And I knew there was gonna be some coyote, and then there's another coyote. So these are during the day. Yeah, these are during the day. These are at 12 p.m., that's right in the middle of the day. And there's that coyote just hopping around. 12 o'clock in the middle of the day. Big coyote coming in again, trying to scavenge some real quick. I wonder if this is the same one. I'm gonna say it is, cause I'm gonna, and then there's Sheba. I'm gonna say it is the same coyote because once that coyote figured out there's food here, he's just gonna come back. And until we find two in one picture, I'm gonna say it's probably the same one. There, there's some weird black dog way over here. I was actually hunting that day and I saw him. I was like, what are you doing? And then here's that coyote that night. And there's a big deer. Not a big deer, but a deer, big doe. That coyote's actually a really frequent visitor. No. But yeah, he did. Big fox, big red fox. I saw him as well hunting. There's a deer. There's a spike actually coming in. Checking him out, son. Still hoping for a bear. Oh snap, what was that? What was that? I'm just gonna say that was that coyote again. Yeah, I think it was. There's a deer. There's that spike again. He is comes that, around a lot. Is that rock band? No, that's not rock band. That was, uh, what was his name? Frederick? Yeah, it's Fred. That might be me putting out. No, nope, that was that's today. Up. That was today. All right, well, pretty good amount. Pretty good amount. We got a coyote coming back a lot. Trapping season, pretty sure, is right now, too, so. Yeah, we're going to go trap him. That's pretty much it. Bet.